Hey guys, today I want to talk about the presence of the Lord and uh, maybe it's been a while since you've been in the presence of God or maybe you've never been in the presence of the Lord. So what separates us from the presence of God? What keeps us from entering the presence of the Lord? When you look at the beginning of the Bible with Adam and Eve, they walked with God. They had a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him, but they took bite of the apple. Then they hid themselves. So they sinned, and then they were ashamed of themselves and hid from God. God came looking for them, and I love that. God's always looking for you. He wants to make relationship with you. But there's things that we do in our life that separate us from God, that separate us from his presence, and sin is one of those things. If we're sinning in our life, and we're not doing anything to remove it, if we're not intentionally trying to walk righteously, we're not going to encounter the presence of the Lord. You know, when Jesus was on the cross, there was a moment when he cried out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I personally believe this is a moment when our sin was put on him. This is the moment when the punishment fell and reality set. When Jesus took our punishment. See, our sins put him on the cross. Not just, not just the ones of the past, the people before, the people who uh, physically nailed him to the cross, but our sins now. We did that. We as mankind did that. So how much value should we put on our sin against God? I mean, we see how costly it was if God himself had to die to pay the punishment. How should we view the sin in our lives? And what should we do to take charge of it? 